Whether it is French President Emmanuel Macron's visit to China or CIA Director William Byrne's visit to Saudi Arabia, the past weeks have underlined one thing. The United States is merely watching from the sidelines now, in contrast to its previous role of global broker and policeman. Now, things happen without the U.S., and China seems to be increasingly taking over the reins. The Central Intelligence Agency's Burns expressed frustration during his trip earlier this month, reportedly saying the U.S. felt blindsided by Saudi Arabia's rapprochement with Iran and Syria. European Commission President Ursula von der Leyen, on her trip to Beijing, emphasized that the European Union and China shouldn't pursue a policy of decoupling, but rather seek de-risking. Europe has been dependent on the U.S. for security over the past decades, but that does not mean that Europe will necessarily follow the U.S. when it comes to China. Macron conveyed to China that it must put pressure on Russia to end the war in Ukraine. Macron is perhaps worried about the direction the U.S. Congress is taking on China and does not want to be dragged into an ideological feud. And it's not just France. Most of Europe quietly agrees. As Macron made clear, the EU will not follow the U.S. blindly on China. While there are calls by many in Europe for the EU to present a united front vis-a-vis -vis China, the EU won't be able to reach a consensus. The EU, in fact, does not need a common foreign policy towards China. In the Middle East, traditionally seen as a place where the US has gravitas, China has emerged as a leading peacemaker. China brokered the agreement between Iran and Saudi Arabia. If former U.S. President Donald Trump wins the presidential election next year, the U.S. might further ease into the role of global observer, given his aversion to entanglements abroad and his isolationist worldview. This is not about the decline of the U.S., as some commentators have argued. This is simply a global power shift that the U.S. will have to take into account and gracefully accept. Arrival of a new power. Beijing is now acting as a global peacemaker, between Iran and Saudi Arabia, and hopefully between Moscow and Kyiv, yet at the same time its saber rattles over Taiwan. China has arrived as a great power.